gentlemen, Sham Heron at the Easiest Swing. So it's late March 2020, and you're probably facing a lockdown like me and can't get to the golf course. So I thought I would do a little video for you all to show you how I practice at home using my swing ride. You might have a swing caddy or a hole-in-one club, they all do the same thing. I've just had this for five years and it's still working perfectly well. Now this model, this swing training aid, has been around for over 50 years, so it's really stood the test of time, unlike a lot of the other training aid gimmicks out there. So I thought I would just do a little video to show you how I practice at home using this tool. So first of all, I have it on a high setting, at least to start my practice session. I want to be, I want to be finding that rhythm, that fluidity of motion uh, before anything, before I be thinking of anything else. Let's remember the rule of thumb here is to get the click after the impact. So we're always set, we're always accelerating through the ball. So the click should be happening just after where the ball would be. Okay, so that's the first rule of thumb. Now, when I'm swinging this training aid, what I like to focus on is much more the target. The target shows me how I should be swinging this club. I allow my intuition to take over. I want to get out of the rule box and get into more my natural intuition. So as I'm looking at the target, I'm just allowing my body to feel how it needs to move through the impact position, getting the click after the ball, and then finishing in a nice, balanced, relaxed, finish. Now folks, here's a little nugget for you. When I say relaxed finish, what I primarily mean, okay the, the whole body's relaxed, but where I see a lot of tightness in golfers is on this right side, especially on the right shoulder, right torso, right arm. So when I'm looking at my finish position, I want to be making sure that this whole right side is relaxed. And that's my first point of reference when I finish my swing. So click after the ball and a nice relaxed finish. There's a real nugget for you folks. That relaxed finish means I can't do any cheating with the right arm. There'll be less swinging across the ball, less out to in, and more body turn. If I have the destination in my mind, my computer will automatically know, in order to finish here, that I have to start using my body to turn through the ball. Look at that position. Look at that position. Now, of course, you see me doing my dance to golf. So when I'm using this, I'm still referring to the blueprint of the easiest swing. I'm still referring to la dance because these are my six basics. The suplex, the rhythm, the coordination, the balance, the weight shift, and the turn. Not to forget, which is why this is such a good tool for us, not to forget the three deadly don'ts. So I'm going to allow the left heel to lift. I'm going to allow the left arm to be loose. Now, because there's no ball, we can focus more on the movement. We can allow our head to be very, very loose. You'll notice when I swing with this, my head gets very, very loose. There's really no need to be fixed 
on that wall, folks. It's a myth. So, relaxed, balanced finish. Focusing on the target, click after the ball, and then let the movement take care of itself. So, I'm focusing much more on the on the downswing when I'm using this tool. You know, I've I've been a golf coach for over 10 years and you know, everyone's just talking about backswing, 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 backswing a lot of the time and I've just spent so many wasted hours working with the backswing when actually this is the important bit. Look how many different backswings we see on tour, but they're always in pretty much the same position through the impact zone and at the finish. So don't be too concerned about your backswing. However, in saying that, you'll notice with La Dance that we keep the elbows loosely connected to the sides. So I want to simulate that on my backswing. So I want to keep my elbows loosely connected with my sides for as long as I can. So you'll still see some connection here. So that would really be my only reference point a lot of the time on my backswing. So once I've, once I've felt I'm, I've got a nice movement through the ball and into the finish, I just start to, I just start to implement this rule of thumb on the backswing and then combine the two into one overall movement. And speaking of one overall movement, that's how I like to see the golf swing. I like to see it as one unit. One, a one piece movement. Now that's not all folks, because there is one more thing that I would like to mention. So we have the blueprint, we have the training aid and the rule of thumb getting the click into a nice balanced, relaxed finish. The thing is, Brian has created a drill that acts like a bridge to get me from this movement into this movement. And that bridge is that movement. It's called the swinging legs exercise. And a lot of you will already know about this if you've read Brian's book or seen some of my more recent videos. Now I absolutely love this drill because it helps to really consolidate my six basics and it really gets me to turn and shift my weight. Now the thing is that some of you might really struggle with balance in this. So I suggest a very, very high setting and see if that works for you. Now if it doesn't, folks, here's a little tip. Okay, so if you really, really struggle with balance, just allow that left foot to come off the ground a little bit. So, I hope this video has helped. Now, 
I would like to offer uh, a weekly online series of sessions for some of you folks who may be interested for the next four to six weeks for as long as we're facing this lockdown. So I would like to do this every Saturday at 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on starting on Saturday the 4th of April and every week thereafter. I will send you a Zoom link so that we can do a group online session on how to use this tool and these exercises that will benefit our golf swing. So if you're interested, send me your email and I'll send you the Zoom link for next Saturday's session. In the meantime, I really hope this video has helped. I wish you all uh, to stay safe and uh, keep the chin up and uh, we'll get through all this uh, difficult time together. Thanks for watching folks. Bye for now.